So watch and see. So inside of this cloud, we see a green area, but that will be covered up by vile roses, vile white roses to add a fluffy cloud effect. And again, the CO2 tanks do what? The CO2 tanks will create a uh, smoke that'll come out of the rocket to look like the rocket is actually blasting off. Excellent. I'm sitting in the front of the float where the observer would be hidden. The observer actually gives cues to the driver who is hidden deep inside the float. The driver can't actually see where he's driving, so they put an observer on the front of the float, nicely hidden, who gives clues to the driver on which way to turn. Tell us about that, June. Well, the observer gets the fun part. He's the front of the float and he gets to say where everyone goes. Now, we can see you pretty easily, but on the day of the parade, where I'm sitting and where Dee is sitting, will be giant fresh floral arrangements, which will kind of camouflage the observer, so no one else will see the observer, but the observer will see everyone else. That would be a fun job to have. I think so. You, uh, you get to see the whole parade from a great perspective, and you're not cooped up in the driver's compartment in a dark underbelly of the float. And the observer has to tell the driver which way to turn. Which way to turn. Um, if someone runs out in front of the float, he could say, stop, or whatever needs to happen. The observer is the eyes for the driver. That would be a fun job to have. What do you think, Dee? Yeah, I think so too, although do you, I, I'm always curious, do you, does the observer sit on a chair or do they lay on their belly or what do they do? Well, it's different for every float. For this float, um, there's a chair of sorts. It's made out of plywood. And so if you've got a cushiony butt, it might be cushiony, it might be comfortable. Or sometimes they'll bring their own little cushion to sit on. And Dee, have you ever served as the observer? No, uh, but I have ridden on the float. What was that like? Um, it was really, it was lots of fun. It was, we were, uh, you know, every, um, you were either at the front, the middle, or the back of the float. It rotates every year. And the year I rode, uh, we were at the back of the float. We were the back uh, quarter of the float uh, in the, in the, in the um, parade uh, lineup, if you will. And so the first ones were just finishing as we were starting. And um, it had been very, very cold, so I wore long underwear uh, to keep warm um, under, I had a uh, kind of a, a 20s outfit on, a long dress and what have you. And I mean, it was very, very lovely, except you had to stay warm underneath and you, and, you know, and you didn't dare um, drink water or anything because you couldn't get off the float if you needed to use the facilities and so and, and they put you on the float right at the beginning so we were on for a long long time and then um, by the time we finished it was after it was noon time and then it had gotten very warm and so um, we were all very anxious to find a place and change out of the clothes and I wanted to get rid of the long underwear but it was great it's a once in a lifetime time to do it I rode um, on my 25th year of decorating. That was my gift to myself. That's very exciting. I can only imagine watching the crowd. Yes, and, um, and people would, would call you and you'd look over and you'd recognize people that you knew and so you'd wave. Uh, they, we practice waving because your hands get tired and so you kind of did what was called the Queen's Wave. 
because if you went really fast, your hand, your arm would give out. So you did this sort of queen wave, and and we managed to get through it. And um, but people kept wanting if you when you had to stop, people kept wanting to bring you water, and we kept saying no, we can't have water. <laughs> well, that would be the experience of a lifetime. Yes, it was. And um, on our centennial year, which was a year ago, uh, I thought the association was very nice. They they asked me if I would like to ride again, but I said no. There were many people that wanted to do it, and I, I think that's something everybody, if they can, should get a chance to do it. And I had done mine. Well, that was very, very generous of you. And we're here with the Torrance Rose Float Association, June O'Neill and former mayor of Torrance, Dee Hardison. And uh, we want to thank you, and we will see you at the Rose Parade.